check this out today I'm going to show you how to bind using a multi protocol radio or even one of these multi protocol boxes like this to these beautiful Eshin 400 millimeter warbirds yep I'll bind to it I'll do the full setup start to finish hopefully this will help someone Here we are, let's get started. To start a new model, just hold the scroll wheel, select the model, and then you hold it again, create model. Here we go, so we want to create a plane, move it across, click your scroll wheel. Does it have a motor? Yes. On channel 3, yes we want that. So we page to the next page, this button here. And we want to change that, click your scroll wheel, to, um, to the Y cable on channel 1 for the ailerons. Click that. Next page. Does it have flaps? No. So next page. So it's got one channel on the elevator, one channel on the rudder. So those ones are right. Channel 2 for the elevator. Channel 4 for the rudder. Next page. So that's what we want to see. The motor on channel 3. The ailerons channel 1. Elevator and rudder. So change that to yes. And there we go. Created the model. Oh, back out of that. There, there's our new model. Model 46. So you can start with a couple of things. Um, first, I'll show you the system. Just want to show you the channel order I was in. The aileron, elevator, throttle and rudder. A-E-T-R. So that's why it probably helps with the setup. Pretty common setup, I guess. Back out of that. Hold this for the model, then you have a look at it, you can name it if you want, we won't worry about that. There we go. Internal RF, with this radio in the, it's internal, go to multi, go across, and we need V, we need the V's, so all the way down near the bottom. Keep going. A lot of different protocols now. There we go. Click that one. Go across. And we need the forward channel. Make sure you hit forward channel for this one. And if you've got mates, it's a good idea to set this receiver number to something different. So that you don't get mixed up with your mate's plane. So that's all we need to do there. So page across and I'll show you. 100%, 100%, 100%, 100% and all that sort of order. Here we go. Same again on different channels. Now here we need to add our switch with channel 5. So we don't need a name. Source couple of clicks and we'll go to max like that the weight I like to change it in this particular order um, minus 100% here just so you start off this is full beginner mode set your switch I like this switch up here the SD Put that up, back out of that, there you go, there's your first switch. You can just copy that, move it down, hold the button, edit. This one needs to be zero. If you move it fast, it does jump. 
Okay, Guardian Serial Switch, middle position, back out of there. Now we've got those two. Need another one. Move it down. Hold the button. Edit. Set our weight to 100%. Go down and set our switch, move it down, 100% on that switch. Now that is expert mode. 100% weight, 100% weight. And you can see they light up. Top switch, beginner mode, mid mode, expert mode. That's what you want to see. There you go, that's the gyro done. You can back out of that. Um, we might want to set our timer. Click it again. And set that to THS. Move it over. I like to set mine for just 10 minutes, that's good enough. You can name that but you don't have to. I like a minute call and the countdown from the 30 seconds, the voice. Every 10 seconds, that's good enough. Now you might want to put something on the front screen which is helpful. Put your timer on there, hold this bottom button. Come down, set up widgets. I'll, I just do the default. It's just got those three boxes there. I'll set this one first. That's our outputs. Hit that one. Back out of there. The top one. Come across. I like the bigger timer. Hit that one. And so you can see it better, put all these down to zero, it will turn black then. There we go. Color screen can be a bit hard to see in the sunlight. And I don't like, I don't need a flight mode and I don't need the sliders, so untick them. Back out of them, there we go. Reset, reset flight, there we go, we got the 10 minutes, so that's pretty good isn't it, pull the throttle, and it's gone, how good's that, and you have the minute call, which is very handy, now all we need to do, is bind to it, hold your model button, Get ready to bind, and I'll zoom out for you, show you how to do that. Got our battery, ready to bind. You can do it either way, I don't know which way is better. Hit bind, try and find the little plug. And we're bound. That easy. Good idea to check your control services. Here we go. Pull back. Elevator goes back to the right. The right aileron aileron goes up. So that's the right way. And the rudder go to the right. The rudder goes to the right. Look at that. So we're going all the right way. Bit of throttle. that easy. And, and don't forget the gyro switch. So I'll show you. So 
see how it stays. It tries to level itself. And upside down is the best way to check it, the self level, because it swaps sides. A bit hard to see the mid mode, but there's the manual mode. Got nothing. So your switch is going the right way. Back to beginner mode. Pretty good. I'll show you on the Mustang. And look, it's already bound. Didn't have to hit bone or anything. So this is pretty good, hey? We can check this one again. Check our control surfaces. Pull back. Elevator goes up. Turn right. Right aileron goes up. So that's right. Check our rudder. Go right, the rudder goes right. Check our throttle, it all works. Just make sure the expert mode's going the right way, and gyro's turned off. Turn it back on, back in beginner mode, the gyro's working. So look at that, that's pretty easy to set up isn't it and we've got a nice counter there you can put a picture on there if you like just need to hook it to your computer so like I said little tip is to bind it with different receiver numbers and I have updated the internal module I have updated the internal module if you see the number there 3261 straight out of the box um, we were struggling to fly two planes at once but since I've updated it there's been no interference we can bind with just the diff different numbers and we can fly around together now. So hopefully that's helpful. They're great little planes. We're impressed by them. Okay, thanks for watching.